Hi, it's Rob from Labbook. Oh dear, I just gave away that I'm using a fakey background and my microphone is up by here somewhere. See? Ooh, there it is. Right, anyway, let's get on with talking about Curious Pastimes Event 1. I'm not going to sort of give you like a day-by-day -day breakdown. There's a few things I want to talk about. I thought this time around, instead of trying to give you my usual day by day short videos. I just give a bit of a retrospective and uh, see how people felt about that. Hopefully, it'll all come through just fine for everyone. Okay, first of all, this event, I've tried to get a brand new camera. It's a, it's a new Sony um, Alpha 7. So, biggest crop of some really good images. Okay, so what was the signature thing about this event? Well, it, <laughs> had to be the mud, at least for the first day or so. I got there on Friday and the site was waterlogged from a huge, huge amount of rain that had hit the day before. I'd been going to Paca for quite some time now and I've never seen it muddy. Not really muddy, not sort of, oh, you could, oh, you're going to sink into some deep mud muddy. Not there's water everywhere muddy. Not watch out there's quicksand muddy. Quick somebody throw me a snake to pull me out with. No, no, no. But this time it, it was mud. Okay, so the good news over, over the next couple of days, the um, mud dried out. And even better news for those of us arriving on Sunday, um, Friday, is that although there was mud, it meant it was much easier to pitch a tent. We could actually, you know, bash in or even push in some tent pegs. Now, if you've never been to Pacar Scout Camp before, uh, you won't realize how big a thing that is, but pack is where tent pegs go to die. And unless you take some really serious hard ground pegs, you're not pegging your tent in. But this time, the mud made it much easier. So on one side, yeah, I didn't find, I didn't really like the mud trying to suck me down to the underworld. But I did like being, it was easier to put tents up. Okay. This time around, the event had a walk on, which meant all the players gathered in one place and then they kind of walked into the various camps uh, in a kind of orderly, timely fashion. And I kind of liked that. I was kind of out in the, I was with the, looking at the camps around the time when people were filtering in and filling, you could have this sense of it was feeling, it was sort of epi, ep, epping, epically starting to feel up the Philip, Philip, Philip. And uh, I edited that in post. And it kind of feels like, you know, we're not have full camps here, we've just got people beginning to come through. And that was kind of quite a nice feeling. And uh, that worked out quite well. Um, it was odd, though, because I knew there were people on the site. And after the walk on the dinner, by the time we got into like Saturday, Sunday, uh, parts of the site felt a little quiet in places, but also busy, like there was a lot of role play going on. So it bit of a new atmosphere this time. Uh, I don't know if I can blame everything on whether it's more to do probably with all the plot where the plot was being worked out and developed. Uh, I did kind of have a look at, at a, one of the kids' quests, and that was it's just just fantastic. Um, the child role players are just epic, um, brutal, really brutal. Uh, don't, you don't want to get in the wrong side. And this time, they were they actually started to use really good tactics. They started to use shield walls and started to break off from small attack groups. There was, it was like, oh, when these people grow up, the battles are going to be terrifying. I mean, they're just so good and great costumes and so determined. And it wasn't just a wandering around random monsters kind of kids' quest. It was, you have an objective. There is this big thing or a forge you have to defend it's going to light but only if you defend it from monsters and defend it they did and the monsters for those of you playing monsters i feel for you because yes they defended it really earnestly so the monsters wow great job yeah, and then, of course, because it was a curious pastimes game, there were a couple of battles, uh, one on Sunday and one on Monday. In both battles, the monster off to the monster costumes. Uh, there was an undead wyvern uh, being, wheeled, being walk, wheeled it through. Walked, wielded. Yeah, walked because it had puppeteers and wielded because they were really practically using it. It was a really great puppet. Uh, 
um, really well puppeteered. You, you know, you your eyes completely cancel off the fact that people were supporting this and working its wings and claws and tails and head, and it it just looked, it just felt like there was this undead thing walking its moving its way through the players. And I also really liked on the Monday battle that we saw we saw that the wyvern again, and this time we also saw a really enormous stone giant uh, that was run really effectively, um, but also really safely. So the battles were good, just but Sunday one for me felt a little uh, from a player viewpoint because the players were trying to defend multiple locations. Some of the players had kind of got a little quiet in places as people were trying to figure out what was happening and what was going through next. Um, but apart from that, yeah, not not bad actually. But the Monday one, oh, epic, epic ending. It's the there was a, a part in the battle where they had to create a, or enable a magical weapon, but the real part was the use of that for the ending and then the celebration afterwards as the heroes uh, were gathered and walked underneath an archway of swords and that was just absolutely fantastic. And by the way, you all have noticed that my, my background had got nothing to do with Curious Pastimes. I'm kind of mixing it up a little. I'm just trying out different... Well, he's a background. This isn't a, this is a very cheesy background, really, but um, I'm just wondering if these were going to work much for these kind of preferred talking around things, just so you don't look at my office, which is not pretty, really not pretty. OK, so I think all in all, the event was really nicely balanced. Uh, event, the event build team did an epic job on, on a hinge and magic table stroke forge and statues everywhere very specific statues uh throughout the, throughout the whole location um so and on standing stones as well so epic build teamwork and continuing you're putting those out in really adverse conditions are uh, fantastic i just want to say thank you to the build team you obviously worked really hard uh and it, it set the scene for all of us so thank you and also saying thank you. Uh, I just want to be the big shout out. A, a few people really helped me out this event. Um, I'm not going to call them out because they know who they are. Uh, but I do want to say, those of you who helped me, thank you. Those of you spent some time just chatting to me, thank you. I, um, it was great. And that's really about it, I think. I would say that I would call it successful in terms of C, as a CP event. I would call it successful in terms of a lab book event because we talked to a lot of people, took away a lot of knowledge, made quite a bit of content. You're going to be seeing weeks of videos coming out now and a lot of really good quality photos. Fingers crossed. Or at least a lot of photos. Um, and if anybody wants to talk about the event, just go to our Facebook group. We'll be happy to do so there. Or if you want to put comments on, on YouTube, please do. We, we love comments. So if you like this, Weird background, Chicks and Potosian talking about a high fantasy LARP, and you like the general chat, have a consider subscribing to the channel and have a consider going to the Facebook group to have to start having a chat with a few people. There's a lot, lot going on there. But for now, thank you very much for your time, and I'll be seeing you again too. soon. No, soon. Thank you all very much. Bye bye.